In this video, I will be updating you on two of mine and Casey Wood's favorite 10x talks. For our first talk, you would be surprised to know that 87% of outstanding shares are owned by institutions. 14 million shares are held by ARK Invest. Other notable institutions include BlackRock, Vanguard, and Jackson Square Partners. I am just sharing my due diligence with you, and if you find this company attractive, then you must perform your own due diligence as well. And only then, buy if you're convinced. This video is for entertainment and for informational purposes only. I usually present my investment strategy and game plan about the stocks I discuss. Here is a real life example of following the game plan. In my previous video about MindMed stock, I said that MindMed stock is getting listed to Nasdaq and should be accumulated near 2.8 and dips to sell in the next rally. Listen, currently it is trading near $3 and has support near 2.8 that is working as an accumulation point at the moment. Accumulation on a dip strategy should be used to sell in the next rally. Now you would be surprised to know that MindMet is getting listed to Nasdaq and the stock price jumped 65% in one day. Those who followed earned massively, but some people categorized it as a pump and dump stock and sold in dips. Stock cannot move higher every day. Also, check this video. At the end, I am bullish on this penny stock with 10x to 16x return potential possibly. Like the video if you enjoy the content and consider subscribing to receive instant alerts. Also, for a limited time only, you can join for free on Discord through Patreon. You will not be charged until April 30. As a benefit, you will receive early access to all of my stock picks and can access our 3 exchange portfolio. You can cancel any time before May 1st without being charged. The link to join is given in the description down below. Now let's get back to the video. First on the list is Pacific Biosciences of California, NASDAQ ticker symbol Pack B. Pack B is at number 4 in KT Wood's ARC Genomic Fund with a weightage of 4.42%. ARC G holds approximately 14 million shares of Pack B with a market value of $424 million. We first bought it near 27, it jumped to 50 plus, and is now trading near 30 again. The price fall is due to no company specific reason at all. I see it as a big opportunity to buy this stock in dips between 25 to 30 to sell in the next rally towards 50 plus. If you don't believe my research, then I hope you believe Katie Wood. Read this. In line with Wright's law, for every cumulative doubling in data produced on PagBuy's instruments, unit costs have declined consistently at a 28% rate. According to our research, during the next 2-3 to three years, as PagBio continues to optimize its hi-fi chemistry, the cost of long-read sequencing could approach that of short-read sequencing, causing an infection in clinical demand for PagBio's technology. Kathy Wood is so impressed by the tech of this company that she sold her entire stake in its competitor. Kathy sold her entire stake in Illumina and invested heavily in PagB due to their better product. The market cap of Illumina is 59 billion at the moment and the market cap of PagB is around 5.8 billion. Now with a better product, you can imagine the upside that PagB has to offer in the near future. PagB managed to beat Illumina in Precision FDA2 challenge. There is a clear writing on the wall that PagB is a 10x stock. It's just a matter of time. Their product is better than Illumina and will become cheap so our rapid adoption is imminent. Illumina at one time tried to buy PagB and eliminate the competition, but this agreement failed. Just a quick reminder, do not forget to subscribe and press the like button if you find any value out of this video. I do not have the slightest doubt in my mind that PagB is the next Senex song. It was first shared near 27 with my Patreon and Discord members. If you are interested to join and receive daily or weekly alerts on undervalued stocks, then the link to join for free is given in the description down below. PagB received major investments of $900 million from SoftBank. This cash injection will help in eliminating the major bottlenecks and propel the company to a hypergrowth trajectory. With an effective conversion price of 43.5 per share, PagB was able to secure very cost-effective funding from a committed investor that will almost certainly see it through to positive free cash flow. The notes will mature on February 15, 2028, unless earlier repurchased, redeemed, or converted. PagB designs, develops, and manufactures sequencing systems to resolve genetically complex problems. Its single molecule real time SMRT sequencing technology enables single molecule real time detection of biological processes. The company also provides consumable products, including SMRT cells, as well as various reagent kits designed for specific workflow, such as template preparation to convert DNA into SMRT build double stranded DNA library formats, including molecular biology reagents such as ligase, buffers, and exonucleases. Don't worry if you don't understand some of the terms. Being an investor, focus on the market opportunity that these companies have. 
ARK Invest forecasts that clinical adoption of the next generation DNA sequencing will drive volumes from 2.6 million in 2019 to more than 100 million in 2024. Unlike CRISPR, PagV is already selling its products and generating revenue. But the problem is that the company is not spending enough on selling distribution expenses. No matter what product you develop, it won't sell itself. Even revolutionary products need marketing teams. PagV offers better genomic sequencing results, albeit at a higher cost, that KVWIT estimates will fall significantly in the near future. Read this. Fewer than two decades later, the cost to sequence a human genome has dropped to less than $600, and according to ARK Invest's research, should drop to less than $100 in the next five years. These lower price points have been and will be critical in driving the adoption of genomic sequencing. Have a look at the market cap of Illumina. It is currently trading at a market cap of $59 billion. With PagV reducing cost of tests with better results, it will capture a significant chunk of the market and 10x from current levels. It is available at cheap multiples as compared to peers, so KV Wood is betting big instead of buying the current market leader and paying a hefty price for it. Buying PagV is the rational decision. Next on the list is EvoGene Limited NASDAQ ticker symbol EVGN. EvoGene is also a long hold stock and owned by KT Wood through ArcG and Arc Israel. 10.64% of shares are held by insiders and 23.91% shares are held by institutions. Out of institutions holdings, 11.3% are held by KT Wood's Arc Genoming Fund. ArcG owns 3.8 million shares valued at $15.9 million. The analyst's price target is $15 per share, which is 360% of today's price. It is a parent company of four subsidiaries engaged in human health and agriculture, named as Biomica, AG Planets, Canonix, and Levy Bio. These four subsidiaries use company's disruptive technology platform, Computational Predictive Biology (CPB). This platform is based upon big data and artificial intelligence and provides tailor-made innovative solutions from discovery to the development of products using the market segments of human health, agriculture, and industrial applications. Let me tell you, these four subsidiaries have had many near-term value drivers to be achieved this year. And next, look at its recent achievement. On April 13, 2021, the company's subsidiary Biomica announced additional positive preclinical results in its immunology program, demonstrating efficacy of its live biotherapeutic product, Consortium BMC-128, this time in melanoma. Similarly, all subsidiaries have products in pipeline to be launched in the future. These launchings would start by the next year. The company's two subsidiaries, Levy Bio and AG Planets, are researching and developing agriculture-related products. AG Planets is developing herbicides and insecticides that are expected to be launched in 2022. Herbicides is on a lead stage, and its target crops are cereals, rice, corn, soybean, cotton, canola, sugar, and other TBD. The company has signed a licensing agreement for these leading candidates. Total addressable market for it is $51 billion. Levy Bio is developing biostimulants and biopesticides. Both are in development and pre-development stages for different crops. Similarly, two other subsidiaries, Biomica and Canonix, are researching and developing products related to human health. Biomica is developing therapy for immunology, GI-related disorders, and multidrug-resistant organisms. These products are to be launched in 2026 in an addressable market of $29 billion. Canonix is developing meta-yield products and precise products to be launched by 2024 in a $68 billion addressable market. On March 25, 2021, Canonix announced that they have entered into agreements with Tikon Olam Canbit Pharmaceuticals Limited for the production and distribution in Israel of Canonix medical cannabis products. Canonix first product is expected to be launched in Israel next year. Israel's growing market is unreserved. Look at the market potential published in Q4's transcript. By the end of 2020, we had more than 80,000 licensed patients in Israel, which corresponds to approximately $260 million per year. There is a steady increase of 30-50% to 50 per year in patients. Analysts forecast the Israeli market to reach 250,000 licensed patients in 4 years, which corresponds to approximately $830 million per year. In addition, we see the increasing demand for premium products with patients willing to pay higher prices.